uh, 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 hereby uh, give notice to regular meeting of directors, board of directors to be held at 105 Port Road, Port Isabel, Texas on December 13th, 2023 at the hour of 5.42 p.m. Uh, for consideration of the business and agenda below. This notice is posted at the Office of District um, on December 7th, 2023 at 4.30 p.m. in accordance with the Open Meetings Act, Texas Government Code 551-041, 551-050, not less than 72 hours prior to the time of the meeting. Uh, we have a quorum. Um, Jason Starkey, Yay. Bill Donahue, and myself, David Bowder, um, our other two members that are absent with notice. Uh, stand up, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Heavenly Father, we come today to you today asking for your guidance, wisdom, and support for the agenda item that we are presenting today. This is Amy Craig. Amen. Amen. I almost said you may be seated. I'm kind of used to preach it. Um, first, uh, invitation to the audience and public comments. Is there anyone online? Board? Anybody? All right. Public here at uh, annexation of 87.29 acres of land to Laguna Madre Water District from the Shores Development uh, and Padre Shores to LLC. Are you guys? No, uh, there's nobody here for the public hearing. So we just continue and move forward with. Uh, All right. We'll continue and move forward since yeah. I'm new at this. Open the public hearing. Close the public hearing. Someone make a motion to open the public hearing. Uh, make a motion to open the public hearing to annexation 87 20, acres of the water water district for the shores development. Second. The motion is made and seconded by Mr. Donahue. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody Go. present? No. All right. Uh, consider or discuss possible approval uh, order adding land. Well, now close it. Now close it. Just formally close it. Okay. Motion to close the Motion public hearing. Close. Second. Motion to close by Mr. Starkey, seconded by Mr. Donahue. We'll go on to uh, consider and discuss possible approval of minutes from the workshop meeting on November 1st, 2023, and the regular meeting November 8th, 2023. We need to do number yeah, five. Go back to number five. I'm so good at this. Uh, <laughs> order of adding. Uh, that was it. Land and Go ahead. 87.99. That was number five. Oh, yes. Four and five are very similar. Yep. Consider and discuss possible approval of ordering adding uh, order adding land for annexation of 87.29 acres of land to Laguna Madre Water District from the Shores Development Inc. and Padre Shores too. All right, so, so yeah, this is the order with the Shores Islands development, as we've discussed uh, in the committee meeting. Um, the city has already granted consent at their meeting on November 1st. We've now held our public hearing, met all the requirements to, to you know, consider this order for approval, adding the, the, which we recommend approval for the Shores Island at development and Padre Shores uh, to, to, to be added to the district. The 87.29 acres is described in the order. Do you have a motion to approve? I make a motion to approve. Second. Uh, motion made by Mr. Stark and seconded by Mr. Donahue. Um, consider, All move on. Favor. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Uh, number six. Job, Thank you very much. Consider and discuss possible approval of minutes from the workshop meeting on November 1st, 2023, and the regular meeting on November 8th, 2023. Motion approved. Second. Motion approved by Mr. Donahue. Seconded by Mr. Starkey. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, General Manager. Yes, sir, uh, members of the board, uh, bullet number one, I have the reservoir levels. I, I left a copy of the levels in, in, at the property desk there uh, with a sheet saying 21.7% combined on, on both uh, Amistad and Salta Lakes. And uh, referring back to our uh, conservation 
Yeah, we're still at the stage three. Questions, comments on that? No. Still at the low level of 20.7, so a little bit of rain that we had a couple of weeks ago, so yep. that was barely getting there, so it's still on the low side. Let's go desal. Yeah. So, yes, sir. Great, thank you. Uh, the next uh, bullet I have is a uh, second meeting in December. Normally canceled. So Motion canceled. Motion canceled. Not all meetings. Not all meetings. This is starting secondly by Bill Donahue. All those in favor say aye. Aye. The director of operations report. Cementy by election. Thank you, sir. Members of the board, the uh, operations report for the month of November compared to that of uh, October. In November, we had uh, 219 service orders and call outs, whereas in October there were 274. There was a decrease of about 55. Most of it was in the distribution area, which decreased by 52. And those were affected uh, mainly in water taps. Uh, they went down by, by 47. And uh, we had the uh, occupant change that went down by eight. Then we had some change of meters that went up along with uh, meter testing and repair leaks. Uh, in the collection side, the service orders and call outs uh, went down from November to, or from October to November. Uh, October had 75, for in November we had six. 64 service calls and call outs, and most of them were in the collection side. And those affected were primarily uh, sewer tabs, preventive maintenance, and clean out and install and repair. In the pre treatment and lift station maintenance service orders for the month of uh, November, there was 48 compared to October 53, and most of them were in audio visual. Alarm checks that they did went from 33 to 7. And uh, in electrical issue, uh, removal of fog went up from 4 to 15, it increased by 11. Any questions? Is this the time where we asked a question about the you guys putting in more of those taps, the replacement taps? Those uh, tabs are. We have some that they're going to be replaced by Mueller. Okay. Uh, the contractors coming in to, to do that. Uh, right. And we have some more that we're shipping out. Uh, we've already, they've already uh, contacted Mueller for an RMA number because we have a pallet of about uh, 453 pounds or so that are wow. going to be returned. Okay. I was and, just curious if yeah. those guys have started that yet. Thank you. Yes, yes they, they actually are, have started already. The, the contractor is here. It's already uh, begun that work. If I didn't ask, Adam would have. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, yes sir. Uh, district engineer's report. I got it. It's over. Sure. I'm sorry. No, I got you. Good evening. It is quite two bullets. Uh, pretty straightforward here. First one here is the the twenty twenty six uh, Rio Grande Regional Water Plan. We have uh, received an email from Black and Beach where they're just starting to um, look at that twenty twenty six uh, state water plan. So they they did ask us to provide an update or a verification of the information by December fifteenth. We've already given them the response. Uh, one of the issues was looking at the efficiency for the Laguna Madre Water District. So, um, you know, we, we went ahead and checked our water losses. We're looking that, uh, you know, a better estimate of our district efficiency is 93.38%, you know, accounting for our water losses. And then, you know, we'll account for those uh, water rights we acquired from Bayview. They're, they're aware of that addition that we have now. And um, also brought to their attention the fact that we get prorated, that we lose water rights during drought. So that can be taken into account for the next five year update on the water plan. And then as far as the proposed projects and strategies, one thing we're looking at doing is that they've already estimated these uh, water supplies or conserved waters based on the various projects. And one of them, 892 acre feet, uh, looking at potable reuse, we're proposing to just shift that over to seawater. So for seawater under the 2021 study, we had 1,120. 
and we're proposing to bump that up to 2012 in the 2026 plan. And then at the same time, our water plant one is already at the 2,352. So in terms of acre feet that we should be shooting for as we develop the feasibility study, you know, we should be looking at 4,360 acre feet a year getting created here at the site in Fort Isabel. Correct. So that that's, that's, you know, includes the update to be on the state water plan. Yep. Awesome. Cool. And then again, you know, just looking at our at our monthly reports, the no charge water is what's keeping us under our allocation. So, you know, hopefully that'll keep coming. But but yeah, I mean, we, we do need to increase our supplies. There's no question on that. And then I, I guess the next item here is we did have that initial meeting with the Port Isabel San Benito Navigation District regarding the seawater intake. And, you know, we, uh, we, we went through some different alignments and pretty much the initial corner they told us right at the guard shack is the only viable option in their eyes as far as a place where to, to proceed with the intake structure. So we're going to go ahead and uh, move forward do this feasibility study, just focusing on that one spot, um, just continue working with the navigation district. But in general, they were supportive of the, uh, you know, of the path forward. Um, essentially, you know, we just start with a TCQ exception request, look at our proximity to the docks, and just start getting those details right. on, on our intake. You know. So we're not concerned about that piece of property that we can't get anymore? Well, right now we're at the mercy of the Federal Trade Commission. We got to let that ownership chain transfer from PES to Chevron complete. And then, so we're at the mercy of that time, but it can still get done after all that's completed. So, yeah, Lorian never added a single moment to our lives. So, right. let's keep going. Yeah. Yeah, that concludes the engineer's report. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, number 10, consider and discuss a possible award of professional engineering services for. Port Isabel Seawater Desalization Treatment Facility Feasibility Study. All right, oh. and on this one, we did our first newspaper advertisement November 16th. We did receive uh, four statements of qualification from Norris Leal, Garber, Empertech Kids and Todd, and Priest and Nichols. Uh, we did review the proposals. Um, we had our committee meeting on Thursday morning, and uh, we are recommending award of the contract to Norris Leal. Um, and there is a ranking for the, for the recommendation as well. I should like to get into that. No, you nailed it. I agree. So, we have a motion? Yeah, so moved. Second. For that recommendation. Second. All right. The motion uh, is approved, by Mr. or made by Mr. Stark, be seconded by Mr. Donahue. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Consider and discuss possible approval of amendment number four with Freeze Nichols, Inc., Professional Engineering Services for Water System Improvements. Right, and as you're aware, you know, we've already been doing a lot of modifications to the site, getting it prepared for seawater. And so, you know, with, with additional reviews of the Paul second round of submittals compliant with seawater, and just all the time involved with modifying the plans, we're pretty much proposing a zero cost uh, amendment on the engineering services. So pretty much the uh, $100,266 that's still in place for project representative time, we're basically on this amendment, amendment moving it over to all the design efforts for the seawater modifications. Motion approved. Second. Motion made by Mr. Donahue, seconded by Mr. Starkey. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, we'd like to welcome Dr. Lalonde. Howdy, sorry for being late. Where are we? Oh, oh, it's it's the end of the world as we know it. I've got the gavel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number, number 13, Director of Finance Report. Director of Finance Report. Where are we? Oh, I'm 14. 12? Number 12. Oh, yeah, number 12 I met. Yeah. Uh, well, that's why you can't leave. That's right. Consider and discuss the possible approval of payment variance, emergency ratification to uh, Norris Leal for the Port Isabel uh, Seawater Desalinization Project. Yeah, and I mean, this is work where we had that work order back in April, but we didn't use the full amount, and there was still additional work effort done on those tasks. So we were recommending approval for this, for this invoice for the amount of $37,225. Do we have a motion? Motion approved. Second. Motion approved by Mr. Donahue, seconded by Mr. Starkey. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Director of Finance Report, what I've been looking for. I just wanted to report uh, to the board uh, what the 
federal COLA was at 3.2%, uh, what was approved uh, for the budget uh, was 2.0%. That's a slight revision there from what's uh, in the packet. It was a 2.0 and, and uh, I just wanted to let the board know this is what uh, we're going to implement uh, from the 2.0. That was the first thing. And the second thing is just an investment update. Uh, for the investment update, we have uh, money for the Long Island Village project that came up for maturity in November. That's $4.6 uh, uh, million. Uh, our plan right now is to have uh, money maturing every every three months. And uh, we reevaluate uh, our uh, cash flow needs as the project pro uh, progresses. So in this case, we uh, uh, felt we only needed uh, 623,000 uh, for the next uh, uh, three months. And so the, the remaining 4 million was reinvested, uh, 565 uh, for 12 months. Um, we also had uh, 1.1 million, which was a, a combination of uh, general fund money for 316,000, uh, revenue bond reserve for 272,000, uh, universal tax, uh, bond reserve for 554,000. Uh, those were reinvested with Bank of uh, Oklahoma uh, at uh, 555 for 12 months. We also uh, were able to reinvest uh, some uh, early collections for taxes, uh, both the, uh, the, this is for our debt payment that's coming up in, in March. Uh, we were able to do a three-month CD uh, for those tax funds at uh, 570 for those uh, for that money. That was 1.6 million uh, for the district and uh, 600,000 for the uh, village project uh, debt funds. On the revenue uh, 2023 revenue bond, uh, that was the 12.7 uh, million that we received for the. Uh, the revenue bond that we issued to complete the uh, 2022 tax bond uh, projects. Uh, and so we closed on that November 9th. We received that money. Uh, we uh, put 702,000 uh, in a CD with Bank OCK at 565 for 12 months. And the remaining uh, funds, 11.775 uh, is, 11,775,000 is in a uh, escrow account at the Bank of New York Mellon. Uh, currently uh, not uh, interest bearing, but we're uh, exploring uh, what options they have to uh, earn some interest on that while it's still in escrow. And that's that completes the investment report. Thank you. 14, consider and discuss possible approval. Hold on, pause. That, Go ahead. Those, that 11 million plus is not in not the interest bearing. Bearing. Yeah, It's because it's, in, it's an escrow. escrow. No. Yes. So uh, there's very limited uh, investment options for uh, uh, funds in escrow. Uh, we've already um, reached out to them to get uh, a list of options uh, that uh, we, we could uh, use to invest in. Um, and we, we just made that uh, decision uh, this week uh, on Monday. We, uh, we, we put it into a uh, interest bearing account uh, with them, but I don't, I don't have the information yet uh, uh, or in, the, in here in this packet, but that decision was made uh, uh, this week. Remind me who determines that the funds are in escrow account. That was part of our deal with it depends uh, the source of the funds and what uh, what they uh, what restrictions they put on it. So in this case, that was with the Texas Water Development Board, and that was part of their. They want it since that's yes. the development board wants it in escrow fund. That's right. Our, so who would we have to go to if we want to source escrow? Um, well, I guess the Texas Water Development Board. Yeah, like for example. I assume the escrow company is the one making money on it. If somebody's making money on $12 million. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's exactly what so, yeah. 
So now uh, going forward, uh, starting this week, that that money is going to be making uh, uh, it's it's going to be making money. It is. Yes. Yes. Actually, we just made that decision this week. It was, it, it, it was after after this. Uh, uh, packet it was, was I only understood that you were going to go talk about it, but not that it actually would be. Yeah, we made that decision this week. Uh, uh, so it, it was after the this packet was put together. So, do you know how much money is going to be making yet, or is that still in discussion? I, I don't have the uh, information on that. On is it like one percent or three percent? Uh, I don't know. Okay. So you'll. Get back to us next. Yes, time. that'll be not, on the that'll be on the next report. If not, it would be great to tell them. Hey, look, if you guys aren't going to give us some sort of cut of this, we're going to have to shop our escrow account. Yes, Thank sir. You. Sure. Yes. Melon. Okay, yes, uh, that that will be all of that for the next in an interest bearing account. So that was kind of my sticking point when we were doing these negotiations with Long Island. Of what would happen with it? Money from that. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want to make sure that that details. We can't make money on it. Somebody needs to. Yes. You know, that money shouldn't just all go to nobody. So Unless the the one that we're talking rates. about right now is not the Long Island Village project. It's the uh, that's the additional funds that were needed for the uh, tax bond, the uh, water that's plant, this is the water plant okay, project. Sorry. Yes. Yes, I'm we have so in. many projects. In my brain. <laughs> <laughs> we have so many projects. Yeah, uh, well, well, yeah. And anything we can make science for some of us do it in this environment. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Charles. Consider and discuss for possible approval the final budget adjustments 2022 2023 fiscal year. So, this is just a uh, uh, procedural cleanup of uh, our, our budget. Um, Certain line items were over budget and others were under budget, but uh, this is um, the summary here on the, on the first page of, of your budget. Uh, in total, our uh, uh, we were two hundred and seventy one thousand uh, over over budget, two hundred seventy one thousand uh, one hundred forty seven dollars over over budget. So um, this. You, you'll see that on the uh, on the financials for uh, which is the next uh, item. But this uh, right now, what I'm asking is just to, if we approve these uh, budget adjustments, and it, it's just a, a procedural cleanup uh, to clear our, our budget. This is over budget of our annual or our annual budget. Is that correct? That's right. Seventy one over. Daniel. So some some departments well, were over budget. Some are all tight. Eleven million not collecting Andrew. Over budget. Yes. So some departments were over budget. Some departments were under budget, and uh, we need a action of the board to be able to transfer uh, money from uh, from the budget from one department to another. Yeah, understood. So we're going to be flush when this uh, when this is made. Well, no. In in total, we were uh, over budget by two hundred seventy one thousand. When we make all these movements from the departments that save the money and the departments that overspent, we're going to be budget. No, this is uh, in, in, in total. Let me ask you this question: Did any department come in under budget? Yes. Who was that? So, what uh, departments were that? So, water plant was under budget by twelve thousand eight eighty-seven. Uh, lift stations I see was uh, over uh, was under budget by seventy-six thousand. Wastewater plant was well over the budget. So lift station and the finance department and construction and maintenance did a great job of being under budget. Yes. And whereas wastewater plant was significantly over. Yes. Can and, you just and that explains why they were over that much, maybe? The wastewater plant uh, in particular was uh, 315000 due to a screw press, which was approved. Uh, what was in that again? Screw a press. screw press. That's screw a, press? <clears throat> mm-hmm. So that's a big piece of machinery mm -hmm. that was approved uh, in the prior year, in the 21-22 uh, year, and it, it came in uh, almost two years, a, a year and a half after we ordered it. So um, it, we had no choice but to pay for it in the year that, that we received it. So would it be fair, that's the majority of that one. Would it be fair to say that our waste water plant department it's maybe um, overspending because of a lot of items that need to be addressed, fixed, 
brought up to specs um, and, and become a more efficient department. Um, what I'm essentially teeing up here for you is uh, it would probably behoove us to look in the future calendar year how we can access some money to get this department up to specs like the other ones, correct? Like lift stations and those things that we've been addressing through previous bonds that we can pay some attention to the wastewater treatment department. We, we may not be looking at future budgets, you know, this is part of the break of a half million dollars over, correct? That, that shoot press was budgeted actually the year before. And we had to budget for that screw press. But because of the, uh, everything that happened in COVID and everything getting delayed, COVID. that screw press didn't come in into a year and a so half. The screw later. press is COVID's fault, too. Josh, yeah, so have that. one up. Right? <laughs> so were you over budget that year? So you're under budget. You, no, we were under, under budget that year. That year? Yes. Okay. You understand where I'm going with this? Yeah, you waste treatment take up, department. Take up the thing, but it's still, you still were 100000 bucks over budget on this. Yeah. It was four hundred eight over. Take out the three fifteen. It's ninety what ninety five thousand over, and they were ninety eight thousand over for administration. So it's still too high. In yeah. layman's terms, we're wasting money in this department because we have some really aged infrastructure that needs attention. Is what I'm trying to the point. That, to that's make. exactly correct. That's the presentation that Garber did uh, at the yeah. last board meeting. Yeah, and that's where. We're I just wanted that on the record because I know offline there's been some workshops talking about how we want to address that. So yes, for sir. public purposes, I want to make sure that we're all just, hey, we're not okay over the budget $400,000. And we do have some action items in the future that we're considering internally to alleviate some of these issues. That's all. All right. I'm here for the 3D the virtual reality. No. Yeah, that was the whole thing. We had a whole big one where we went over it for a long time. So then you're you're uh, hitting it on the head. You're hitting right where we talked about. Okay. So hopefully we spend money, save money is is what the plan is. <laughs> but why were we on the grand over in administration? Nice try. All the guys <laughs> sitting at this table with their heads down. Like, <laughs> any, it was a transfer. So yes, that that. Uh, that department has a lot of, of costs that are district wide uh, uh, costs. Um, are you busy uh, buying apples or is more significant than that? Not busy. No, um, yes, we, we go into the details. If you don't want to do it right now, you don't have to. But I would love for somebody to tell me at the next meeting, and every time we're $100,000 over. Or even fifty thousand dollars over. Hey, we were over budget in this department. Let us tell you why we were over. Can we do that next, for next time, Carlos? Yes, we so can. don't put anybody yes, on the sir. spot right now. Yes, sir. Hey, here's what we're doing. And of course, the more important part of that conversation. Here's how we're going to be on budget next year. Mm -hmm. cool. Do we have a motion? No, we need a motion. We right. did. We did consider a discussion. Oh, that's yes. 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 uh, And again. Again, what is the action? Right. You're moving money from one department to another, but we're still going to be over budget 271 on the calendar. Year. Correct. It's just internal, so we can pay the bills. Yeah. I motion that we uh, approve the uh, final budget adjustment. Motion made by Dr. Lalonde, seconded by Mr. Stark. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Number 15, consider and discuss possible approval of financial reports for September 2023. So we, can, uh, we, we can go to the uh, the summary page on, on page four. It's just another uh, summary of, of the performance uh, for the year. As you can see, revenues um, uh, came in at 100.1 of, of uh, budget, and uh, expenditures came in at 100.32 uh, of, of budget. So. Uh, Overall, we're, we're very close to what the uh, what the budget was. Uh, the difference being that uh, two hundred and seventy-one thousand uh, previously mentioned. Close but under. I'm loving you. Close but under. <laughs> Make sure you know yeah. That. Yeah. Okay. Is this acknowledgement? Is that no, what I'm no motion. Motion. Motion approved. Second. Motion by Dr. Lalonde, seconded by Mr. Starkey. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.
16. Consider and discuss possible approval of purchase of flow meter for the service pump at water plant number two. So, members of the board, we need to uh, replace a uh, flow meter for the high service pumps at water plant number two because of the efficiency. We use this uh, flow meter to, I think it's the water pushed through the system, the, the finished product at the water plant number two. It's uh, what we use for the uh, water audit that we do uh, annually. With something that we bought to produce you. Is it a low flow meter or a high flow? It's a high, high, flow. high okay. flow meter. It's a production meter. It tells it totalizes the amount of water that we push into the distribution system. I understand. Yeah, I mean the slope the low flows just aren't very accurate, you know, so I understand. Motion approved. Second. Motion approved by Mr. Donahue, seconded by Mr. Stark. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Number 17, consider review expenditures. From November 1, 2023 to November 30, 2023. Is it technology? Uh, yes. Technology. Knowledge. 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 I consider to remove from the table the following executive session item labeled at regular meeting November 8th. Deliberation regarding the evaluation of district employee to that general manager one away from doing it so we got to remove this before we can table it or what's that look like again you think what you normally do yeah. yes uh there's another agenda item in there gotcha uh, executive for, 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 the, for the executive session yes. yeah, executive session permitted by the meetings act btca government code section 551001 uh, uh under section 551071 Consultation with attorney under section 551.074 personnel matters. Make a motion to move into the executive session. Second. Motion to move into the executive session by Mr. Stark and seconded by Dr. Lalan. All those in favor. Aye. Aye. We are now in executive session. Basically, regarding the deliberation. Oh, regarding the deliberation, regarding the evaluation, uh, that was. Do you have a motion to approve, approve the evaluation? Okay, yeah, do we have a motion, a motion to, to approve, approve the evaluation? evaluation. Second. Move to approve it. Second by Seconded by Mr. Donahue. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, concerning the, I can't say that because that was an executive session. Just no, it's right oh, there on the. Concerning the, the update on the city of South. Yeah. Concerning the update on the city of South Padre Island, Governor Modern Water District. Proceed as we proceeded as directed. Very good. All right, and now we adjourn. Correct.